Hi, Floss Tube. Hi, Floss Tube. It's Kathy Roganella. And I'm Nancy. From Inspired Needle. We're here to uh, update you on what's been happening here at the shop. Hopefully, we'll have a little bit of time and I might get some footage and take you next door. Um, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram. I'm Inspired Kathy on Instagram. Uh, and I've shown a couple little very vague vague references to um, the shop expansion we are expanding here at inspired needle uh, the florist next door uh, has retired and I finally got my occupancy permit and so we're setting up next door and trying to move things in there I'm not sure how it's going to turn out but it's slowly but surely it's coming along so well we might try to give you a little bit of a peek into what's happening there um, and yes, Priscilla, there will be a grand reopening party. Right? Yes. And you definitely will be invited. <laughs> You'll be a uh, first invitation. <laughs> don't expect one in the mail though, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, I don't know when, definitely not till after the first of the year. We have a lot of work to do here. Um, and as we're moving stuff over to the other side, if it goes over, but as we're doing it, um, we're taking inventories, making sure everything, because sometimes stuff is misplaced, we can't find it, the computer shows we still have it, because we're totally, our whole inventory is on the computer, and it, there's nothing more frustrating than to tell a customer, yes, uh, the computer shows we have one in stock, but then not be able to find it anywhere. So things get moved around, we're constantly moving inventory around, and so who knows, it could fall in behind, you know, in a different pocket, or... When a customer mm -hmm. picks it up, decides they don't want it, sets it down somewhere, and it's lost mm -hmm. forever. We did find a chart or two behind one of the... Yeah, the, something the, fell behind our anchor... Anchor storage anchor boxes. Cabinets. Yeah. So when we move those, and those are pretty heavy, so we don't move those ever. But, yeah, Nancy found a couple things and some fabric, mm -hmm. too. And some fabric. And yeah. A couple dust bunnies. <laughs> that's to be expected. They hadn't moved in 10 years. Well, no, those mm. probably moved maybe eight years ago. Yeah. Okay, yeah, well. they've been in position for a while. Yeah, you're splitting hairs there. I know, I know. <laughs> so, do you want to talk about your little hat? That's, oh, yeah, I love that's my hat. That's kind of cute. Yeah, I bought it at, um, at the... In Shipshuana. Uh, in Shipshuana at a little craft fair. It's the only thing I actually bought uh, yeah. from Shipshuana. It's um, kind of cute. Yeah, I thought I heard the, bell, the doorbell. Someone might be walking Somebody in the store. We're going to have to store. pause Let's you for pause. a second here. Okay, oh, we're back. We're back. Oh. Sorry about that. We had a little uh, minor interruption, but mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we'll we have stitching night tonight, so you might possibly see people walk by. Um, I don't know. They, hey, I told them don't worry about oh. walking by, and they're like, no way, we don't want to be on camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, forget that. Well, I guess so, not. But yeah. maybe we'll take the camera over and go sneak over there. Oh yeah, it's first Friday. So okay. every if you're local. And you want to come stitch the first Friday of every month, um, we have stitching here at the shop, so come join us. And the third Saturday also. So we have a double whammy. We don't even have a week break in between because the first day of the month was a Saturday. So that makes the third Saturday next week. So two weeks in a row we have stitching. And that's mm. very unusual. Okay, so Nancy, I think, is going to start with some finishes. Oh, you want some FFOs? Yay, I have some finishes. Well, okay, Kathy didn't get to the shop as early as I thought. She actually took my advice and, and stayed home. She didn't get here till 4 o'clock. Wow. So, anyway, I did finish. Uh, let me show you the chart first. Mary Wishes Box by, is that Shepherd's Bush? Shepherd's Bush. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I have that finished. I will just put this behind it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I and can't here's see. her little finish. I finished that. Isn't that adorable. So had Kathy gotten here earlier, she might have had that. So it gets mounted in this little. It's a little uh, like a jewelry box of some sort, and it's got a little opening here. Mm -hmm. um, you can't t mount these typically because there's not a lot of room in this little. It's not a regular picture frame. So what we're going to do is just cut it to size, and then we'll serge the edges and just maybe um, do um, eh, like a stitch witchery or something, like a, I can't, oh, it's terrible getting old. 
Um, my brain, <laughs> my brain is not working. You know that iron-on stabilizer stuff. I can't. Hmm. Why can't I think of the name of that? I don't know what a stitch witchery is either. Well, you know, like Pelon, you know, like interfacing. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> don't thank us. You fuck it all on your very own. <laughs> interfacing. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what we're going to iron on the back and then just cut it to size. Okay, what do you got okay, in the box? Next in the box. Well, I can't box. see your box. We'll see now. Yeah, there's the box. A little known fact that you don't know about me is that I go swimming uh, and take a swim gymnastics aerobics class. Um three days a week, three mornings a week at the Y, and this, not this Friday, a week from today, ooh, is our little Christmas, um, Christmas breakfast after swim class. Uh -oh, oh, she's she breaking broke it. it again. Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but anyway, so it's supposed to be an elephant giveaway. But white elephant? White elephant giveaway, yeah. Could you imagine me walking in here with an elephant? <laughs> it's uh so, this little thing came off. I it's had a, pain in the neck. Yeah, I had the third sled was already started. Cute. Very cute. Oh like, no, oh. I took the whole thing off. Oh boy. Oh boy. We'll fix it later. I don't know what we're gonna do with you. <laughs> okay, so and then um no well, maybe we'll just go on. Do you ha you don't have any fully finished objects? No. Okay. So we will just go on to our whips because I was just playing around with an idea. A friend from church, her daughter, was getting married and apparently had to clean out some space. So she gave me like four of these rings. I'm like, eh, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. So I came across a pattern and I just had some Ada cloth at home. And yes, Debbie, I do stitch on Ada. My friend Debbie does not believe me. I'm like, ah! Oh, you stitch on his linen like no there's nothing wrong with Ada so I had a pattern and I put this did the Santa on it and he's cute he is very cute and, but I don't I think he needs he needs either like some holly around him well like I was working today on the newsletter a little bit and the new series from Little House Needleworks the Jack Frost Jack Frost Tree Farm they have this little greenery and I bet you could glue it around the hoop oh. or even on the front of it. Maybe mm -hmm. not on the sides, but maybe around the front. That would be really cute. Yeah. And actually, um, here's another green freeze. Yes. There was a company <laughs> uh, designer that went out of business, but she used to have a little round Christmas tree frame like that with that greenery around it. Oh. Okay, that's a good idea. Either that or I was just going to find another chart with a, a like a bigger face of Santa. So, it was just my no, first go around. I think that's around. cute, just like that. Yeah. And then I thought, I've been thinking for several videos now, that every time I see this, like, oh, I should bring it for the video. But I'm, like, afraid to. So Why would you be go. afraid? Oh, I don't know. So this is Ash, Nancy's actually very first stitch Cross piece stitch ever. This is an oldie but goodie. That was there just a learner's kit from Hobby Lobby. And then, it's cute. Uh, yeah. It looks really good. I know it came with the hoop. I think it came with the hoop for the finishing, and I have no clue where it is. Yeah, but, that's really cute. Yeah. I don't know why I can't do my initials like this anymore. And it looks perfect. And uh, it's... Maybe it was the size of the Ada that you were stitching on. Oh, yeah, that could be. So, anyway, that was just my own little blast from the past. And then finally, I kind of have some more finishes. Technically, but technically not. So, back to the fragments in time. Oh, I didn't oh and the apologies. Charts. I noticed after we, um, after I uploaded it, I'm like... Let me no. After we recorded it, I was like, Nancy, we have to measure your fabric. I think it's you stitched on it the wrong way. But we were just holding it wrong, and we weren't even oh, holding it the was, correct way. It was so funny. That was the Lucy Elcott piece. Um, oh, that stitch yeah, yeah, along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I even I didn't even bring out because I haven't touched it. But anyway, this is the shop model for um, from Fragments in Time, the 2018 Fragments Looks in Time. Looks really, really nice. And so one, two, and then five and six um, are done now. And it, you know what? I really hated 
Really hated number six. Uh oh. Beth, cover your ears. Yeah, well, she called and I actually complained about <laughs> you it. You told her. <laughs> actually, yeah, well, I did point out an error in number two. So, but anyway, there's these gray thingies. I hated them. But the center is beautiful. But anyway. What's your, what? These. The these, stems? The stems. I hated the whole, all four of the sides of those. I hated them. But it looks great. <laughs> Right. Oh, you know, just by the way, just in case anybody wants to know, the one color that's called for is current. And when I use current, other than the they can't see your point. Yeah, I know they can't see me because you put it down. Other than, <laughs> <laughs> other than the outline of number six. Uh huh. Show them this again. one. Other than this, this outline here. Yeah. All the way around. What about it? When I use the color current, I prefer the darker shade of that. It's, you know, it's a variegated color. So, or like thread, you can I see mean. in the roof. That looks like current. Yeah. So, let's just so, talk about the darker variegated. Yeah. I just use the darker side of that thread. So, anyway. There you go. And that. So, that's just a whip. Technically, five and six are done. Yeah, okay. I'm okay. considering that a, a finish. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Nope. nope. Any whips? We just did whips. Those were my whips in progress. I consider, well, you said those are finished. Well, they technically are finished, but it's still a work in progress. I have four more to go on this piece. Okay, anything else? Uh, no, because of all okay. I'm, I'm like stitching like it's my job to get this done for Kathy. <laughs> oh, because she has, a week or two ago, I get to the shop, she's like, Nancy, you're going to want to do another shop model for me. I'm like, no. The one I'm done with fragments, like, that's it. I'm taking a year off. She's like, no, you're going to want to stitch this. I'm like, all right, let me see it. You want me to hold this up yeah, now? Might as well. Yeah. We're going to show it in the news, what's so, new at the shop, but we'll show it now. She sh shows this to me, like, oh, I wanted this. Like, that was, I literally had a list written down on three charts. It's like the companion piece. Nancy stitched Yuletide on Thistle Hill. And this is almost like the companion piece to it. So, from Abby Rose Designs, it's beautiful. Right. So, yeah, she'll be stitching it. I'll be stitching this. <laughs> Got gotcha one so. way or another. Okay, that's, okay, that's it for me. Well, I went on vacay over Thanksgiving, and my husband, this is just a short little story. Um, I told my husband before we left, I says we have to plan what we're going to do when we go down there. I wanted to go down to the Keys, or not to the Keys, but to Miami. And my mother-in-law, her place is up near St. Augustine. And it generally tends to be a little cooler there, but my mother-in-law was complaining how hot it was. And I was like, oh, good, I can't wait for the hot. Well, we got there, and it was like mid-70s. A couple days were upper 70s, um, but then it cooled off, and it was like low 70s. And then the, by the day we left, it was like 61. I was freezing. And I was so disappointed because I told my husband, we got to plan it, we got to plan it. Oh, what do we have to plan it for? We'll just take it one day at a time. I'm like, no, because I know what's going to happen. We're going to get there. And your mom is going to want to go fishing because she always fishes by herself. But she's Sunny Boy's there and she's going to want to go fishing. <laughs> and it's going to be fishing, fishing, and more fishing. And guess what happened? Yeah. So I got a lot of stitching done. <laughs> it aggravates me, but whatever. It's still, you know, it's still Florida and it's better than here. So yeah, I was going to say, I mean, none of us back here in Chicago would have been complaining about 71 degrees well, when we were a little bit chillier I than that. I have been looking forward to because Chicago, yeah. it got cold fast and didn't really warm up. We had like one week of maybe where it was kind of nice weather, but we really didn't have a nice warm fall like we usually do. Right. It mm -hmm. was cold and very cold and it's been, seems like 20s and 30s since yeah, this is like since a, October. It's not normal. This so yeah. A lot of these temperatures are what we get in January. And even my retreat, my September retreat, I thought, oh, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be, you know, 70s. No, it was cold. It was in the 60s and rainy. 
an October retreat was the exact same way. Sixty. It wasn't raining, but it was cold. Yeah, it was and, raining a little bit. And but that's not normal. Normally, our October retreat is so awesomely beautiful. You know, you got the pretty colors on the trees, and it's warm because it's usually a little warmer. You know, mm -hmm. by maybe a couple degrees that in Shipshawana than it is here. But, and I was so looking forward to that Florida. And oh, poor Kathy suffered through seventy degree temperatures. So I did finish. <laughs> be quiet. <laughs> I did finish my bottom row of Holly Jolly all year long. Mm -hmm. um, I have a little bit more back stitching to do, but as I knock everything over on the table, um, mm -hmm. Santa here for December has a little bit more stitching, but isn't it adorable? They're very cute. So we have. Um, way over here, July, August, September, October, November, of course, December. So that's what I was working on. Last time you saw it, I think I had only finished the Halloween guy, the pumpkin. So that's my progress. Amy Brooken Designs, Holly Jolly. Mm -hmm. And I have one more. Sorry, I'm off camera. I have one more to go, uh, January, and then I'm all caught up. So I'm going to keep cool. going as fast as I can. Um, okay. That's it for my... That's it for whips. Okay. Yep. Oh, well. So we can show you uh, can do new to the shop. New to the shop. Next. You saw the Hometown Christmas. Mm -hmm. Abby Rose. Abby Rose. Um, two that came in from JBW. She did this one. Was her own Robin, wasn't it? At, yeah, that gallery. I think so. Yeah, Judy Whitman came out there. The kits, as you can see, it comes mm -hmm. with... Not yeah, stitching fabrics in here too. Stitching fabrics, the finishing fabrics, the floss, everything. Even this one, you got trims. Um, these are two cute little kits from Judy at JBW. Sorry about for the glare. Um, that's the Joy Kit. And these are all in stock at the shop if you're interested. And this one is Peace on Earth. And that's really pretty, the white on the red. Sometimes she does a lot of colors on white, but this is a nice little switcheroo. Right. Um, Waxing Moon Designs has a lot of the houses. You see the trio, like Halloween house trio, winter house trio, um, Christmas house trio. Well, now this is a cute one, too. I don't know. She's, like, coming out of the woodwork I, with all her stuff. It's just, I don't know if this is an old one that she redid. I'm not sure. I can't mm -hmm. see on the back. But anyway, I thought this was adorable yeah, for winter. Cute. Frosty mm -hmm. Friends. Okay. Um, okay, Abby Rose also has another capitalizing on the farmhouse craze. She has right. farmhouse Christmas in Abby Rose style. Yep. That's one of my recent uh, acquisitions. Yeah, this that's one. really cute. Mm -hmm. um, Madame mm -hmm. Chantilly, Madame Chantilly. Mm -hmm. This is cute. Um, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this, but it's like a little Santa flying through the air Christmas night looking Santa delivering all his packages. That's a nice one. Mm -hmm. um, Erica Michaels, she does a lot of stuff on silk gauze, and that's what this one is, too. And this isn't... She did this a couple years ago, and then I guess re, revamped it or something. I'm not sure what the deal is with that, but I always like this one, Jelly, so... One of these days I'll stitch all these little silk gauze things. Sure. Um, mm -hmm. from Just Nan, we have the two new, um, a few years ago there was the gingerbread mouse that came out. Well, now he's got his own little stocking. Gingerbread mouse stocking. It comes with your little wool felt for the back and some accoutrement back there. Mm -hmm. Um, she also has this Christmas dragon ornament. This one comes with uh, the charm. There is a version that has the bigger enamel uh, pin, the exact same style. I'm sorry to say, even though I responded, that's how quick you got to be with this Just Nan. Um, the email came in and boom, she only had like 270 of them and I missed it. Wow. Within And I responded back to her within 30 minutes. Wow, you're kidding. All wow. 270 gone. So wow. all we got are the charm ones, but... I like the charm ones because it's cute and it's little. It's not this big pin, but so this big pin, this big pin that you show in there. <laughs> this is more petite. Mm -hmm. um, Kathy Haberman. Uh, um, I think we might have talked about this, or I don't know. I'm just misinformed. This is a year of celebrations, and this was previously mm -hmm. published in the 2014 something magazine. 
Oh, yeah, you know what? We did do this last video because I remember telling them that there's a good video on how to do the Oh, about the, the board? The okay. Board. Well, sorry but, for the yeah, redo, but... We're old. We don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, Faithworks. Okay. The, this is called... Absolutely um, adorable. Dear, we'll show them the box. Dear Santa Claus. <laughs> so here's the kit. Isn't that cute? It's hard to tell in it's there. It's hard to tell. But, but anyway, you get this we'll adorable get this. little mailbox, okay? And mm -hmm. inside you get, we got ours with the linen, but we'll swap it out for Ada if you prefer. So it's this. I think you need to add your own threads, okay. um, but and it comes you get with. these two guys. Look at that. Well, not both of them. Oh, oh you so only you get, get your one? choice the cat with the mailbox. Well, there's three cats and there's mm -hmm. three dogs. So this is just one of the dogs and one of the cats, but there are different versions. Mm -hmm. And here, put him down a little bit. Okay. Look at that cute little face. Yeah. And here's a little dog. puppy. Mm -hmm. So, um, what you're stitching, and I don't know if you can see it on the... What you're stitching. See that little postcard? You're stitching the postcard. So you kind of prop the postcard kind of like this. So it's hanging out of the mailbox. And then, like, your little animal is, you know, patiently waiting for the mailman to come. Or for Santa to come and pick up the letter. I don't know exactly, but isn't that darling? It's adorable. I like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. So that's new. We have another new one. Uh, it's on the way. The red bird winters a, a little red cardinal on top of a spool. So it's kind of long this way. Sorry, that's oh, from, a picture. From, from Faithworks Faith also. That'll be coming. So if you're interested mm -hmm. in that one, if you've seen it around on the net, we'll be getting that in also. Okay. Um, the last um, of the new ones is... Forget this winter stuff, and Blackbird is moving on. They're waiting for springtime, so merrily, merrily, we welcome spring. That's a beautiful sampler. Looks like a little reproduction of some sort. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Maybe not, but true mm -hmm. Blackbird fashion. It's mm -hmm. just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So Also coming soon to the shop, which will be added to Nancy's stash, uh -oh. is the late, is it her last edition of the the fobs from oh, Heart Spring Heart Sam Sampler. Heart yeah. Spring Samplery, the coffee Festive fobs. fobs. Festive like, fobs. Yeah, the that. coffee edition. Nancy for sure is getting that one. So. <laughs> what about the other one? Which one? There's a, I think C is for coffee or something. Oh, You'll yeah, see it in the I newsletter. saw that. You'll oh, you're right. Newsletter. Yeah, that's right. She's got two coming. Yeah. Right. Okay. okay, and so now we're going to show you a few, I guess, oldies but goodies. Mm -hmm. This is keeping with the Christmas theme. This is Pear Tree. I'm sorry, I don't have the pattern. I didn't pull it. Um, from Little House Nina Works. We made mm -hmm. ours into like a little easel. This is just my, tells me what it is on the back. Um, but that's, I don't know what year this came out. 2011 maybe? I don't know, it's old, but it's beautiful. I love it and I love how it looks with the little trim. Our finisher did a really super great job on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and here is even older. This, I want to say, is from 90s, 1998, 99, maybe even older. Oh, I like that but one. But this is called Reindeer Parade. I stitched this, believe it or not, oh. before I even entertained the idea of having a shop. Well, is it and in this book? Or? This is JBW. Now, this pattern is out of print, but mm -hmm. Judy put together this booklet called A Few Favorites. And show them the back. Sorry about the glare there, guys. Show, and so that you can see the pattern right here. So it is one of them. You get all six patterns. If you mm -hmm. maybe turn it a little this way. Yeah. Oh, there we so go. So if you get that book, there's those six patterns in there. Maybe bring it mm -hmm. a little closer so you can see the different designs. Mm -hmm. okay. So, but Judy, again, um, mm -hmm. it might be old pattern, you know, but look how cute it is. I mean, it's... It's timeless. It's something that you could stitch and you won't look at it and say, oh, gee, that's, you know, like with those geese back in the 80s or whatever they were. You know, this doesn't look like that. Okay, another... Mm -hmm. I have a funny story about geese. Uh -oh. I think geese or maybe it was ducks. Anyway, I'm out. Oh, it was the summertime. I'm out camping and with my friend Colette. We went to a camping... Um, place campground and anyway so I had at the time I had I think I had my little miniature schnauzer with me and so um, Kasha? either Kasha or the fur ball buttons okay. whichever one I had so anyway we're out for a walk and Colette 
said to make sure I pick up after her. I'm like, okay. So we're walking. I had a bag with me. And we're walking. We're walking along the lake, and I see all these little pieces of poop. <laughs> <laughs> so then I get back to her camper, and I'm like, why? Why am I? Why did you tell me to take a bag with me to pick up after Kasha when all of these other like all I see is poop around the lake and come to find out I, that was from the ducks or the geese or the whatever geese. Mm -hmm. were there was a lot of them there at that lake and like oh so we, that was our laugh. I thought you were gonna tell me that you picked up all the geese poop. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well, no. At that time, I was like mad. Yeah, I'm sure I picked up after my dog if if she <laughs> went at the time. But I'm like, look at all these people. I'm not picking up after their dog. No. So, I'm, you know, I'm just like that. I return the shopping cart to the place it's supposed to go. You know, if I if I got a can of vegetables that I decided I didn't want anymore, I didn't put it in the freezer section at the store, I actually go back to the... Oh, gosh. Yeah, I That's do. That's an ADD thing. I, I think do. I do the same thing. Oh, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Can you tell we're sisters? Uh -huh. I do not know. It was from years of living with a father who oh my gosh. shut off the light, closed the door. <laughs> it, let me tell you, everything in our house, and especially in his garage, had its own home. Yes. Before you could go to Menards, um, before these even existed at Menards, the... Um, they have these things you can buy now. The pegboard, the, the organizers? That you organize and you can yeah. hang your rakes and stuff. Oh, no. Our father had already had that done in his garage. Yeah. So. So, all years of hearing that a hundred times. Put your slippers on. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> so, that's how crazy I am right now. Yeah. And, man, Lord forbid if you stepped on a needle at without uh, anything on your feet because you were in trouble. Because our grandmother, his mother sewed and so anytime you went to her house you were better have your slippers on yeah because you could easily step on a needle so, anyway sorry for the interruption we'll get back to our regularly scheduled program <laughs> <laughs> okay so here's kind of an oldie but goodie when i first started my shop it wasn't i don't know maybe a couple of years after i opened um hindsight came out with the reindeer um, and they're called crystal reindeer, and each reindeer is very elegant and with big, long um, antlers. Mm -hmm. And they have all these Swarovski crystals hanging from them. So you have, you know, your Dasher and Dancer. Mm -hmm. So there's eight, you know, the eight reindeer. You can sing along with me, mm -hmm. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen. I thought you were going to start singing no. there for a minute. <laughs> you so know this... Dasher and Dancer <laughs> and Prancer. So this is our whole piece, um, all the reindeer. My friend Debbie, I'll get a close up so you can see. Look at that last one, the Blitzen, how cute. It's like all peppermint candies. But my friend Debbie stitched this for us and it's just beautiful. I mean, this is what, six, seven years old already and we still sell every Christmas. It's beautiful, I love it. And, I don't know if you can see the sparkle of those crystals. Mm -hmm. And this frame is still available because we just... No, I'm sorry. Oh, no? I oh. have one left. I, I just placed an order. One of our customers wanted one. And so I called to order it. And it's one of uh, frames from Kay's Frames. And Kathy answers the phone. I told her I wanted you know these frames. She goes, oh, I don't think I have any left. But she did find this this little trim. She can't get this trim anymore. And no. so she said, no, that's my last two pieces of trim. She might have to find a different way. I mean, she like glitters it up. She paints it, puts the snowflakes on. She might have to find a different trim to keep making this frame. But we love it. It's a good seller for us. So that this is Santa's reindeer. You know, that's the frame. It's called Santa's reindeer. Or these are the crystal reindeer. And I used to have like a little club. And I'll do that for anybody if anyone's interested where you if you want to do because these patterns are 22 bucks each they're expensive because of the crystals in them you'll see the little pack of crystals in there um so i mean if you wanted to do like a one a month you know we've done those clubs for a lot of people so and there's also um santa and his sled is one and then there's also a rudolph that 
are stitched. I don't know if it shows it on the back. I can't see it on the back here. Any of these patterns? Nope. I think they all just show the eight ranger. Mm -hmm. But anyway, a lot of people will do that and will stitch Santa in the sled and then Rudolph lead in the pack. So that's mm -hmm. a cute little grouping too. Mm -hmm. um, the next one that's older, it's not that old, but um, Country Cottage Needleworks a few years ago came out with Snow Place. This is number five. And there's five patterns. This one, here's another one. I won't go through all of them, but you get the picture. There's Snow Place Lake Home. Okay, so here is our model. Now you can see it's kind of like on a, just a lamb's woolly color or beigey color. We decided to stitch ours on this sparkly pink color. Did I show this before? I don't remember. If I did, I'm sorry. But um, it's worth, it's wintry, so it's cute. So it's just the five separate patterns, and we had ours on the fabric, the pink sparkle fabric, and then we just put a little green mat in a white frame, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Very Beautiful. cute. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, we're we winding up. We have one last one. One more. Mm -hmm. One last. It's not an oldie, but it's uh, last year I got it. Mm -hmm. So okay. this is called, in English... The intruder and it's so cute because you'll see all these little trees and then oops who's that guy in the middle mm -hmm. Santa, Santa Claus so oh. I knew I wanted a wall hanging of some sort I wasn't sure what and so I got it back from the finisher and I said that eh, just make me a wall hanging and wait till you see what she did it's fabulous yeah. Yeah, I don't think we showed this one but if we did that's okay isn't that adorable? I love it. Our friend Carrie Jo stitched this for us. She did a fabulous job. And this is the, you can see the, the branches back here. Oh, that's probably nice if I would have had something back here. But mm -hmm. just so adorable. And it's wool felt backing. And then the finisher did these cute little um, pinwheel things. I forgot what they're called. I'm having a really bad time with memory of loss today. Mm -hmm. So anyway, for the season, mm -hmm. to celebrate Santa Claus, because I don't know that we'll get another uh, video in here before the end of the year. We'll try. Um, we're going to give away one of these patterns mm -hmm. to the first person that can answer, not the first person, to, we'll just pick someone at random. Um, mm -hmm. What questions should we have them answer? Uh, how about? Or how tell about? us. Like How about their best like a Christmas childhood memory? Christmas memory? Yeah, like a Christmas memory. Like, mm -hmm. what's your favorite, you know, tradition? Or, you know, do, maybe you bake cookies. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you all mm -hmm. wait for Santa to show up at your house. Yeah, mm -hmm. something fun that you do for Christmas. Mm -hmm. If you don't celebrate your favorite winter memory. Mm -hmm. Maybe you, um, maybe you guys go sledding. Or you get have a get-together with hot chocolate and cookies. Or, you know, whatever mm -hmm. you do. Tell us that, and the lucky winner will get this pattern. Mm -hmm. All right. Just okay. don't mention free giveaway or anything like that. Just yeah, I think they they get that. They get just, the rules. Oh, yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, you don't have to be a subscriber either, but you should subscribe. <laughs> well, we love we love to watch. <laughs> oh, and then you have some shoutouts, don't you? I do. I've been stitching like it's my job, like I told you. Ah, uh, good credit to Miss Priscilla for that. Mm-hmm. And I watched a few new people. One is actually new to Floss Tube, and I apologize that I didn't write her name down. But her Floss Tube channel is Madam Ice. So she's never heard of her. New to, I'll check her out. Okay, new to Floss Tube, so check her out. Um, but then new to me, um, I've been watching Heidi Coran. Yeah, I like Heidi. Who's... Uh, channel is Stitch One Over Two. Canadian girl. Um, she looks like she's going to be right up my alley because she stitches a lot of um, big sampler pieces. Yeah. Yeah. And then I just started watching um, Ginger Gerald Stitcher. So, and boy, he's got a lot of videos. It's going to be and a He's doing like time. patterns now. Oh, is it? Making yeah, patterns? Yeah, he's designing. Really? Yeah. Oh, no I've seen, I haven't seen mm -hmm. any of them where he's um, talked about it, but... 
I forgot who I was watching. Oh, maybe Pam and Steph. And they maybe talked about, someone that I've been watching talked about mm -hmm. Ginger Gerald's patterns. Or oh. maybe it was the Midwest Citrus Retreat videos that mm -hmm. I've been watching. No. I'm not sure. Okay. And then my last shout out goes to Kathy Hayes. Is the Kentucky Woman Kentucky Stitcher. Woman. Thank you for mentioning us. Thank you. Yep. She has absolutely beautiful finishing. I've already, I sent two messages to Kathy when I linked her yep. videos. Yep. Like, oh, you got to see her finishing. She's just, she just does a beautiful job. So anyway, hello to all those, those folks out there. And if we miss somebody, I apologize. Mm -hmm. I don't always have a lot of time uh, to watch the videos. So maybe between mm -hmm. the two of us, we'll try to catch if. Or if you see that someone mentions, you know, us, maybe, you know, send us a message so that we can go watch it and we can reciprocate and shout out to them. We appreciate it. We appreciate everyone that watches our channel. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think we're all that interesting, but... Isn't it amazing, <laughs> people that write comments? You girls are so funny. I'm like, I really? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, and I do have one final uh, Nancy-ism. Uh-oh. kind of, uh -oh. kind of, I didn't of even know. Yeah. Um, it was brought to my attention that maybe I don't smile enough. Oh. So I'm not calling anybody out. But, and I know they're right. I do have a poker face. So I've been practicing my smile just for you guys out there in Floss Tube Land. So I'm going to give you a little example of how I've been practicing. So let me just cover my head. So... <laughs> What do you think? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be crying in here in a minute. We keep shaking oh. the table. I'm sorry. sorry. Oh, yeah. I didn't mean to. I didn't realize that. <laughs> when the, when I hit the table, the thing bounces. Oops. Uh -oh. Sorry. Okay. So. so now, if the ladies will let me next door, and I'll show you oh, a little. Right. You'll see a little bit of the shop just expansion. Just a short little video. Yeah, just really short because. We're already it, at 37 minutes. Yeah, we're not mm -hmm. set up in there at all. Um. Some stuff is set up, but I mean, I'm not open yet to, by any means, like, for ready for a grand opening yet, Priscilla. <laughs> We're getting there. Mm -hmm. um, but you'll see a little sneak peek of what it looks like in there, and maybe the ladies will, maybe if I don't show their faces, at least they'll let me show their needlework. So, okay, hold tight, and we'll be back in a second. Here is a little bit of the shop. I'm just going to go through here. You can see people driving by outside. This is, we already got some little Christmas decorations up. Put some, put some models up there. There we got the um, shelving unit moved over. Oh, here's, I'll show you here. Here's my messy counter area. You can see the, the thread wall. There's a few ladies stitching over there, but they don't want me to get too close over there. So we have a light crowd tonight. Um, so that's it. That's all you'll see um, until we get a little bit more stuff hung up and more things moved over. But we'll catch you next time. If we don't see you before, have a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy New Year. Oh, Hanukkah's over. Um, happy Kwanzaa. However you celebrate the season, celebrate it with joy in your hearts. Bye.